Today we're going to look at how to connect to your YouTube analytics account using the coefficient add-on and bring that data into Google Sheets. So start with, if you do not have coefficient, go to extensions, add-ons, get add-ons, search for coefficient in the add-on store. And when you have it installed, then you can proceed to the next step, which is to launch the coefficient add-on. So go to extensions, coefficient and launch. Once that pulls up, we can go ahead and click on import from, and then we'll want to find YouTube analytics. If this is the first time you used it. You're not going to see any connected sources here. And so just scroll down until you find YouTube analytics. If you do not see it in this list, go ahead and click on see all sources and then find it there. Once you have it, click on connect. And then we just need to authorize so coefficient can access the data to bring it into your Google Sheet. So then we just click on our account. Make sure you select your YouTube account. Click allow. And then this will disappear. So now you can decide if you want to share this connection with your other members on your team. We're going to click not right now. And then once we get to here, we can click start from scratch. And then we'll have a pop up here. So now we can choose the report we want to see. So we have some popular ones here, or we can select some of these over here. So let's go ahead and just click channel metrics for now, click next, and then we can see our metrics here. So we can add or remove the metrics we want to see. And then once you have what you want, then you'll just click import to bring that in. You can also do filter, sort, you can limit how many results you want to do. You can change the time frame. Or if you decide you want a different one, you can go ahead and click on change metrics. You do channel overview, for example, pull that in and you can see that there. So let's go back to channel metrics for now. We'll just keep it on the standard settings. We'll go ahead and click import. So once it's done importing, you can select if you want to auto refresh the data, you can select hourly, daily or weekly in the associated schedule. Otherwise you can click not right now if you don't want to, or if you want to set it up later. And again, you can pull up the different settings here and change them as needed, or you can manually run from here or from this button here. All right, that's it for today. I hope that helps you see how quick and easy coefficient is to help you bring data into your Google Sheets.